Welcome to RCR Wireless TV. I'm Lamore Schaffman here at CES 2015, and with me is Jean-Marc Frangos from British Telecom. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Welcome. And so tell us, what do you focus on at British Telecom? Yes, thanks. I'll um, start by saying that uh, BT is um, a global telecommunications company. For us, CES is really important because it's uh, the place where we find all these uh, good, new, value-added services, new technologies, and uh, uh, people call them gadgets. Actually, they're not gadgets. They're new applications for the consumers and the enterprise market. Surprisingly, there's enterprise technology here as well at CES. It's not exclusively consumer. A lot of enterprises use consumer-type technologies. But we're a global company, so in, in the US, um, uh, we sell largely to the corporate market in the UK, we sell largely to the uh, enterprise, but also consumer market. So that my focus particularly is on innovation. So what I'm looking for here is new value-added services, new things that we can package with our services to get the, uh, the best of the digital world to our, to our customers. So what are the core services that you are offering to enterprise as well as, I mean, I guess you're more enterprise focused, is that correct? No, we, in the UK we serve the consumer market, the uh, small and medium enterprise market and the large corporate market. So the, the entire spectrum uh, outside of the UK, largely a corporate market. But typically the sort of things that we do, we've invested 2.5 billion in fiber. Uh, to provide the UK with one of the best infrastructures that exists, so uh, we're quite, quite proud of that. So one of the things that we do is look for applications that make sense for people to consume on this fiber network that we have uh, put out in the, uh, in the UK. Um, having said that, we also focus quite a bit on cloud services, big data, internet of things. These are all things that are very much in, uh, in fashion here at CES. And also some of the other things that you were saying that you offer is uh, sort of trying to create a plug and play, so to speak, offering for the enterprises that want to come in to serve either other enterprises or consumers, and that includes bill payment or other service that you're trying to package in there. Is that correct? That's correct. I think if you think of the network being the main platform for a telecommunication service provider, there are things that sit on top of the network that really differentiate a good service from bad service, right? So how quickly can you get your new services rolled out or deployed to you? How easy is it to install? You know, can you get billed seamlessly without having to worry about, you know, putting new credit card numbers every time, um, and also customer service. So if things start not working, not interoperating, not working exactly the way you expected them, I mean, there's a lot of uh, wonderful technology here, but there's also a lot of hidden complexity behind it. So our role, and certainly our focus at BT, is to make sure that our customers get a very, very good experience out of it. So. The, the, all the value of these digital services, but also something that they can roll out at home or in the enterprise without having to worry about it and knowing that BT will be there to help them. Sure, take the complexity right out of there, as much as possible anyway. <laughs> so you've been here for a couple of days, seen anything good, seen anything that makes sense for the mix that you're looking for? Sure, yeah, so clearly there was, uh, I like to say that, you know, there's uh, a good and a bad year at CS. I'm still undecided as to whether this is a good or a bad year. Um, and by bad, I mean with less, you know, less innovation. Um, I think this year um, there's clearly the age of maturity of, of 4K because we could see 4K sets, TV sets last year. But this year there's virtually no standard HD anymore. It's all UHD, it's all 4K. I've even seen a number of 8K TV sets and to be honest, you have to take a magnifying glass to see the difference. Some of them actually put a magnifying glass in front of the screen really? to show you the difference. So we really like 4K and 8K because we think with the fiber infrastructure we've deployed in the UK, we're very, very well placed to um, provide these new services to our customers. Uh, but the other things that I really uh, like, and um, it's again something that's not so new this year, but it's everything related to the home networking and smart homes. So what you can do in your home when you connect all these devices together, um, what is the security that comes in doing that? That's something that we're very, very keen to make sure that we provide something that's not just very functional, but also quite secure for our customers. And finally, there's a lot of instrument itself. So all the sports tech, mm -hmm. uh, all the, uh, you know, uh, what you do to stay fit, to exercise. Um, there's a new focus this year on sleep technology. So, you know, they want to make sure that whether it's mattresses or little sensors or bracelets or headbands, uh, there's clearly a focus on trying to ensure that you sleep well, that you regenerate. 
something that I've noticed not many people do here at uh, CES and in Las Vegas. <laughs> We're partying hard as well as working hard, that's for sure. Exactly. So, um, so you're seeing all these different categories. Now, is, so I can see how, let's say, the home security, um, home energy management uh, could be relevant. But let's say in terms of, for you, um, but let's say in terms of sleep, for example, is that something so you're going to have this offering of like the comfortable home and as a result sleep elements might be part of it? How do you sort of start, decide, what is the decision mechanisms that you use as to whether or not to take something in, form a partnership, and then package it with what you're offering is? Yeah, good, good point. So the, um, uh, I think, you know, taking the example of sleep I think it's a bit of a corner case right I mean that's, that's one of the things that jumped to me because I've seen it on many many uh, stands uh, this year I mean it wasn't there in so much quantity last year uh, but in order for us to decide to include something like this in our offering I think the key criteria for us is do our customers want it right so first is there um, significant interest from our customers perspective uh, and the second piece is is it something that would work well with our network is it something that we can support again I'm coming back to the you know packaging it so our customers find a good experience out of it. So if we find that experience is complex, it's too hard to set up, there are two cases where you can't really make it work first time, then we'd probably pass and wait for it to mature a bit more or look at something that is that can be packaged with our services so that it provides a seamless experience. And so now let's look at look if let's say just a couple of years from now, mm -hmm. what do you anticipate? And also BT's role in this will happen with IoT and the wearables. And frankly, I consider a wearables part of IoT. So let's just broadly speaking about IoT. What do you see happening in the next couple of years, and what's BT's role going to be in that? Thank you. So I think what will be the case is that um, 4K and 8K TVs will be prevalent. I think we will have um, enough content, say in five five years time to uh, make just about everything you watch on on TV whether it's on demand or whether it's broadcasted uh, absolutely fantastic in terms of, of quality um, with the home I think there will be more and more devices sensors um, the big question which I'm really interested in is how do people control that because I mean at the moment uh, it's debatable whether you control it with a sort of little unit on the wall like, you know the nest thermostat of sorts whether you control it with your smartphone or whether your watch is going to be the control center for this and also you know with the complexity of all this I mean you have some uh, um, uh, configuration and parametering to do right so I show up home uh, maybe I want my thermostat to light up 30 minutes before I arrive, uh, maybe I want my lights to get on, maybe I want my sprinkler system if I've got a garden to uh, come off at regular intervals. Uh, it will be preset to a certain extent but not fully so I think there will be a, a, a challenge as to how the end users will dictate or, or set up the parameters so that it's not too complex, it's still very usable, but it's got the good flexibility that this offers. And I think our role will be to provide, of course, the network, the best connectivity, the best speed, to provide the best quality for these 4K and fantastic 8K images to reach the homes of our consumers. Uh, but also in the enterprise, it will be providing the security and the speed that people need when they use the cloud and, and software as a service applications. Jean-Marc, thank you for giving us a sense of what you see happening here at CS 2015 and also a look at the future. Really appreciate it. Pleasure. Thank you very much. And thank you all for joining us here at CS 2015. Please stay tuned for other videos and really exciting things that we're seeing here on the show floor.